Hello everyone, y'all. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel, Oli Ayo TV. I am a lover of green and a conservator of the environment for sustainable development. In today's episode, I'll be talking about volcanoes and volcanic eruptions. I came to this environment with my grandparents, Pastor Marcus Adeoti and Evangelist Funke Adeoti, during this Easter 2024 celebration. We were passing by in their vehicle. I sighted these granite stones. Granite stones is, is a type of igneous rock that is commonly used in building and construction materials. The components are made of fispa, quartz, and mica, and they have several physical and chemical properties that are used for, for variable applications. What came to my mind immediately I saw these granite stones were volcanoes and volcanic eruptions. Before I tell you what I know, I need to show you all something. Let's go! which is hot liquid and semi-liquid rock and volcanic ash and gas to escape. They are generally found where tectonic plates come together or separate, but they can occur in the middle of plates due to volcanic hotspots. What is also volcanic eruption? Volcanic eruption occurs when gas or lava are released from the volcano, sometimes explosively. Volcanoes provide a number of benefits and environmental benefits such as precious minerals, fertile soil and hydrothermal energy. They pose several hazards such as volcanic ash, gases and lahars which include mud flows, landslides, lava flows and pyroclastic flows which is fast moving current of hot gas. Volcanic eruptions can be deadly and often cause food shortages and population displacements. Popular belief is that volcanoes are cone-shaped mountains, but that is not true because there are many more types of volcanoes, such as fissure vents, shield, shield-shaped volcanoes, cinder cones, and also, and also dome-shaped. And there are also volcanoes found in the ocean and on ice or snow land, such as the one found on Iceland. There are volcanoes found on the ocean floor and even those under ice caps, such as the one found in Iceland. It is lighter than the solid rock around it. Magma rises and collects into the magma chamber, then enters the, the magma vent and into features and to the Earth's surface. You need to know as the multi rock stored in the magma chamber rises up through the crater pipe pocket as gas expands and water becomes skin, creating pressure. When the pressure cannot be contained, the volcano erupts through the crater and secondary side event. Common volcano gases are carbon dioxide, water vapor, hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. The magma that have erupted is called lava. Volcanic eruptions are sometimes a 
explosive why some are not the explosivity of the volcano depends on the composition of the magma <laughs> It can it will flood up from the volcano. A good example of this five volcano eruption is the volcano eruption that happened in Hawaii. Lava flows rarely kill people because it moves slowly and it gives chance for people to escape. If magma is thick and sticky, gases will not be able to escape. Pressure builds up until it explodes. Another a good example of this eruption ha happened in Washington. S.T. Helens Mountains and the recent one that occurred in Iceland. In this type of eruption, magma blasts into the air and breaks apart into tiny pieces called terram. Terram can be ranged into size from tiny particles of ash to house-sized boulders. Explosive volcano eruptions can be dangerous or deadly. They can blast out hot clouds of terram from the side or the top of the volcano. These fiery clouds race down the mountainside, destroy almost everything in their path. erupted into the sky falls back to the earth like powdery snow if thick enough can suffocate plant animals and humans when hot volcanic material get mixed with water from the stream and melted ice and snow they turn into what we know as mud flows mud flows which are called lahars which can which can burn down an entire community that is located close to an, uh, an eruptive volcano the effect of volcanic eruption on the environment. When a volcano erupts, it emits a mixture of gas and particles into the air. A volcanic gas known as sulfur dioxide can cause global cooling. Why carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, has the potential to promote global warming? Do you know that volcanic eruption can affect the green environment, e.g. the vegetation? The physical destruction of the vegetation of the environment when the magma or lava reaches high temperature it can form fire rings of fire around these plants that survive next to the lava and burn them to experience volcanic eruption thank you can you 
please subscribe to my channel please click on the notification bell and share as well bye bye